The third annual Changing the Course Art Show is happening tonight. Here with more is Rebecca Benzema and Robert Clark. Rebecca, you're the assistant director for reentry. Can you tell our viewers what that means? Uh, yes, I work for the Alabama Bureau of Pardon Pearls. I'm the assistant director for reentry and rehabilitation for the state of Alabama, as stated. Um, and basically, we assist our justice involved folks um, in becoming successful members of society by, by providing support services uh, to the best of our ability. This art show features work from the prison and parolee art program. Rebecca, why is it important to bring arts into a prison? A lot of our justice involved population do have challenges and, and trauma that uh, really they they need an opportunity to work through, air an opportunity, give these uh, people an, uh, the advantage of having the materials, providing them with um, art supplies and things of that nature so that they can work through some of this trauma in a way that doesn't always require speaking it. Sometimes there's a difficulty in speaking that trauma and living that life. It also gives them hope, it gives them something positive to work on and helps them to hone skills. Gives you purpose as well. Mm -hmm. Robert, you made this incredible yes, Thank you. quilt. How has this program helped you? Well, it's helped me overcome my past and you know, it's like, help me build my future, you know, because. Without the program, I, I'd still be in, you know, in the fall behind, you know. You should be really proud. You can see the detail, how you stitch this by hand. And we, yes, we can see this is Paul Bear Bryant. Yes, ma'am. On this. Bear Talk about your inspiration for this quilt. Well, uh, I loved to draw back when I was younger and stuff. And ever since I was able to hold a pencil in my hand. But my mom has a hobby of doing quilts. and. She said, well, won't your son put your quilt or your drawing on a quilt? And I said, I can't do that. And then she said, sure you can. As long as you got a little faith, you can do anything. I said, well, sure, I will try it. And it, it took us all day or it took me all day to do it, but I got it done. And it, it turned out wonderful. It, it is. It is beautiful. Your mom told you, don't give up, son. Yes, ma'am. It's amazing yeah. what that that support from our moms yes, can do for us oh, as well. Oh yeah, most definitely. Did you find it healing? Yes ma'am. While doing this? Yes, Talk a little bit about that. Uh, it just made me focus and stuff and made me just want to do more of them now. I've actually, I'm on my fifth quilt now. Wow, and fifth? I, yeah. I got, I did a rose tulip one, or a red tulip one, I'm sorry. And uh, a piece, or like a bass piece. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the other one is a pit bulldog. There's a f picture we can see it uh, fully right there, and it really yes, is. I mean, that that takes talent. Yes, that takes talent. Not only does it take talent, it takes dedication. Yes, it takes a lot of time. This it's, is why you do what you do, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. And people, I think sometimes, um, it's hard to, to recognize you also need a creative outlet um, so that instead of being on the street or instead of being maybe in an environment that is not healthy, you now have something that's sparking the imagination, that's, that's giving, as you stated earlier, hope and purpose, giving something to do that is productive and positive in nature and building those relationships, as he yes. said with his mother, that family reunification yes. piece, bringing that family back together in a positive way for the community. So tell us about the art show that's happening tonight, right? Yes, it is tonight from 5 to 7 p.m. at State Archives. We will have pieces of many different mediums. Um, this is an excellent example of a fabric medium. We also have metal artwork coming from Ingram State Technical College. We have um, artwork coming from Alabama Department of Corrections, Department of Mental Health, Troy Garden Project. We have several different items and a variety of mediums uh, to see. It's going to be an exciting night. What will it mean to you to see someone invest in your art? Oh, it means a lot. And I would be grateful to have my art go to other people. We have some beautiful pieces. You have this one as well over here that's that's stunning. It's just amazing, the work. So this piece is uh, the mascot for our Montgomery Day Reporting Center. It's called Freedom. Another thing uh, that these projects help with is we have a social service caseworker, our specialist, Laura Hughes, who worked very closely with our participants. So it gives them an opportunity to talk to staff, to talk to uh, the folks that are there for therapy purposes while they're doing the pieces. And it also brings a camaraderie within the facility. They all came together for a positive purpose. And 
and they named this uh, piece their mascot, and it's Freedom. These are just two examples. You can see more artwork tonight, 5 to 7, at the yes. State Archives here in downtown Montgomery. Thank you both so much. You thank should be really proud of yourself. I am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am.